In the depths of the New England woods, there stood a dilapidated mansion, long forgotten by the townsfolk of the nearby village. The mansion, shrouded in mystery and sinister tales, was known among the villagers as the Hollow Shade Manor. Legend had it that the manor was once home to a wealthy family, whose tragic fate remained an enigma. Their stories whispered during the darkest of nights. Our tale begins with a group of adventurous teenagers, each with a thirst for the thrill and a penchant for uncovering the hidden truths of the past. Among them was Ethan, a natural leader, Mia, the skeptic, Alex, the history enthusiast, and Lily, who possessed an unexplained sensitivity to the supernatural. One crisp autumn evening, fueled by the allure of an adventure and the tales of the Hollow Shade Manor, the group decided to explore the forsaken mansion, armed with nothing but flashlights, a camera, and a map scribbled with rumors and hearsay. They set out into the woods. As they ventured deeper into the forest, the canopy above blotted out the moonlight, casting long shadows that danced with their every step. An eerie silence enveloped them, broken only by the crunch of dry leaves underfoot and the distant hoot of an owl. Finally, the imposing silhouette of Hollow Shade Manor loomed before them grandeur diminished by decay and neglect. The once magnificent windows were now but shattered remnants, and the grand entrance was overgrown with ivy, as if nature itself sought to reclaim the land. With hesitant steps, they crossed the threshold, the creaking of the ancient door echoing through the empty halls. Inside, the air was thick dust and a palpable sense of dread. The beam of their flashlights revealed faded portraits of the manor's former inhabitants, their eyes seeming to follow their every move. As they delved deeper into the mansion, they stumbled upon a vast library, its shelves teeming with moldy books and forgotten lore. It was here that Alex discovered an old leather-bound journal its pages yellowed with age. The journal belonged to the last master of the manor, and within its pages, it chronicled the descent of the family into madness and despair, driven by an insatiable quest for forbidden knowledge. Eager to learn more, the group explored further, uncovering hidden passageways and secret chambers. However, as the night grew deeper, so too did the sense of foreboding that clung to the air. Strange whispers filled the halls, and shadows moved just beyond the edge of their light. In the heart of the manor, they found an ancient altar, its surface stained with the passage of time and darker deeds. It was here that Lily, overcome by an unseen force, began to speak in a voice not her own, reciting verses from a language long forgotten. Panic ensued as the temperature dropped, their breaths visible in the icy air. The mansion seemed to come alive, with doors slamming shut, and the sound of footsteps approaching from the darkness. In their frantic bid to escape, the group became separated, each facing their own nightmares as the malevolent spirits of the manor sought to claim them. As dawn approached, Ethan, Mia, and Alex found themselves outside the manor with no sign of Lily. The manor stood silent once more, as if mocking their escape. The story of their harrowing night at Hollow Shade Manor became the stuff of legend tale whispered in hushed tones, but the fate of Lily and the truth
true nature of the darkness that dwelled within the manor's walls remained a mystery, a chilling reminder of the unknown that lurks in the shadows, waiting for the next unwary soul to cross its threshold. In the weeks following their harrowing escape from Hollowshade Manor, Ethan, Mia, and Alex were plagued by an unshakable sense of dread, their nights tormented by vivid nightmares that echoed the horrors they had witnessed. The disappearance of Lily weighed heavily upon their hearts. Her fate intertwined with the dark secrets of the manor, determined to uncover the truth and hopeful of finding Lily. The trio delved into the history of Hollowshade Manor, poring over ancient records and forgotten texts. Their research led them to a cryptic prophecy, one that spoke of a celestial event that occurred once every century. A night when the veil between the living and the dead was at its thinnest. Realizing that the night of their visit coincided with this event, they began to understand the malevolent forces they had unwittingly awakened. The ancient altar, the strange verses recited by Lily, and the shadows that pursued them all pointed to a ritual left unfinished, a summoning that had been disrupted by their presence. Compelled by a mixture of guilt and resolve, Ethan, Mia, and Alex decided to return to Hollowshade Manor to confront the darkness and search for answers. They equipped themselves with talismans and old tomes, hoping to protect themselves against the spirits that dwelled within the manor's walls. As they approached the manor under the cover of night, they noticed an eerie glow emanating from the windows, a sight that had not greeted them during their first visit. The forest seemed to watch in silence, its whispers absent as they crossed the threshold once more. Inside, the manor was transformed. The decay that had marked its halls was replaced by a chilling elegance. The remnants of its past grandeur restored as if by magic. The portraits that lined the walls no longer seemed to watch in silence, but appeared to beckon them deeper into the manor. Guided by an unseen force, they were drawn to the library, where the air was thick with the scent of burning candles. The room was alive with flickering shadows, and at its center stood Lily, or rather, what they believed to be Lily. Her eyes were devoid of recognition, her gaze fixed on the ancient tome that lay open before her. As they stepped forward, the room erupted into chaos. Books flew from their shelves, and an invisible wind whipped through the room, extinguishing the candles. In the darkness, they heard Lily's voice, not as they remembered it, but twisted and otherworldly reciting the same verses from that fateful night. The ground beneath them trembled, as if the very foundation of the manor sought to cast them out, desperate to reach Lily and break the spell that bound her. They fought against the unseen forces, their talismans glowing faintly in the darkness. But as they neared the altar, a blinding light enveloped the room, and the manor shook the roar of an unseen beast. In that moment, the veil between worlds was torn asunder, revealing a glimpse into the abyss that lay beyond. The fate of Ethan, Mia, Alex, and Lily within the twisted halls of Hollowshade Manor remains uncertain. Their story, a thread, woven into the tapestry of legends that surround the place. The manor stands silent, a sentinel in the woods, its secrets guarded by
by the shadows that dance within, waiting for the next chapter to unfold. As the blinding light that engulfed Hollow Shade Manor began to fade, Ethan, Mia, and Alex found themselves in a realm unbound by the laws of the natural world. The mansion, once a decrepit relic of the past, now thrived as a nexus of supernatural energy, its architecture warping and twisting in impossible ways. The trio, separated by the chaos, navigated through the labyrinthine corridors, each turn revealing scenes more macabre than the last. Whispered pleas for help echoed through the halls. The voices of past victims ensnared by the manor's curse. Ethan stumbled upon a grand ballroom where ghostly figures danced in an endless waltz, their expressions frozen in a time of revelry and despair. Among them, he thought he saw familiar faces, the lost souls of the village, their fates intertwined with the manor's dark history. Mia found herself in a vast garden, its beauty marred by an omnipresent fog that seemed to breathe, alive with the whispers of the damned, the flora otherworldly in its appearance seemed to watch her, their petals and thorns twisting in silent anticipation. Alex, drawn by an inexplicable force, descended into the bowels of the manor, where ancient runes glowed with eldritch energy. The air was thick with the scent of decay, and the walls pulsed as if the heart of the manor beat within them. In their separate trials, each faced their own fears, confronted by apparitions that tested their resolve and sanity. Yet, amidst the terror, a glimmer of hope persisted, the bond that united them, guiding their steps through the darkness. Meanwhile, at the heart of the manor, Lily stood transfixed, her consciousness tethered to the ancient tome. The verses she recited grew more fervent, a dark invocation that sought to breach the boundaries between worlds. Around her, the fabric of reality began to fray, the shadows coalescing into a form both terrifying and awe-inspiring. As the celestial event reached its zenith, the power within the manor surged its influence seeping into the surrounding woods, corrupting the land. The barrier that once contained its malevolence weakened, threatening to unleash the darkness upon the world. The fates of Ethan, Mia, Alex, and Lily hung in the balance. 
their stories entwined with the cursed legacy of Hollowshade Manor, as the boundary between the living and the dead blurred. The true nature of the manor's power began to reveal itself, a force beyond comprehension, waiting to be unleashed. The story of their encounter with the supernatural, a testament to the thin veil that separates our world from the unknown, remains unfinished. The conclusion of their journey shrouded in mystery, a tale to be continued as the darkness waits patiently for the next chapter to unfold. In the blinding light that engulfed Hollowshade Manor, the line between the present and the past blurred, revealing fleeting visions of the manor's tragic history. Ethan, Mia, and Alex, caught in the maelstrom of unleashed energies, witnessed the rise and fall of the manor's inhabitants, their lives marked by ambition, betrayal, and a relentless pursuit of forbidden knowledge. As the vision subsided, the trio found themselves in a part of the manor they had not seen before, a grand ballroom, its beauty marred by the passage of time. The once elegant tapestries and paintings were now faded, and a thick layer of dust covered the floor, undisturbed but for the footsteps of the unseen. In the center of the room, beneath the shattered remnants of a grand chandelier, stood Lily. The eerie glow that had surrounded her was gone, replaced by an unsettling calm. Her eyes, once filled with an otherworldly presence, now reflected a deep sorrow. The air around them grew colder as they approached her. The silence of the manor broken only by their hesitant steps. Lily's voice, when she finally spoke, was a whisper, fraught with pain and fear. She spoke of the spirits that haunted the manor, of the ancient curse that bound them to this place, and of the dark entity sought to use the manor's energies for its own malevolent purpose. Before they could respond, a sudden tremor shook the room, sending cracks running through the walls and floor. From these fissures, an ethereal light emerged, coalescing into the forms of the manor's former inhabitants. These spectral figures, trapped between worlds, seemed to plead for release, their faces twisted in anguish. The group realized that the manor, with its dark history and accumulated energies, was a nexus, a point where the barriers between the living and the dead, the past and the present, were perilously thin. The ritual they had interrupted was not merely a summoning, but a key to breaking the curse that held the spirits captive. With the manor crumbling around them, they understood that they had but one chance to set things right, guided by Lily, who seemed to have gained knowledge beyond her own understanding during her possession. They set out to complete the ritual, not to summon the dark entity, but to reverse the curse and free the trapped spirits. As they began the ritual, the manor's response was immediate and violent. The spirits, sensing their impending release, rallied to their aid. Their combined energies, creating a protective barrier against the dark entity that sought to prevent them. The boundaries of Hollowshade Manor began to warp and twist very fabric of the place, straining under the conflicting forces. Ethan, Mia, Alex, and Lily, bound together by fate and a shared resolve, stood at the heart of the storm, their voices rising in an ancient chant that echoed through the collapsing halls. As the final words were spoken, 
a blinding light erupted from the altar, its radiance piercing the darkness that had enveloped the manor. The ground shook, and the walls trembled as if the very earth sought to reject the presence of the manor. In the chaos, the fate of our protagonists hung in the balance. Their actions, a beacon of light in the engulfing darkness, the manor, a sentinel of untold horrors, stood on the brink of collapse, its secrets teetering on the edge of oblivion. As the light receded and the tremor subsided, the fate of the manor and its unwilling inhabitants remained uncertain. Their story, a whispered legend in the making, awaiting the next chapter in the shadowed halls of Hollowshade Manor. The light from the ritual began to fade. Ethan, Mia, Alex, and Lily found themselves in a sudden calm. The violent tremors and eerie cries of the manor ceasing abruptly. The grand ballroom, once on the brink of collapse, now stood eerily silent, as if holding its breath. The spectral figures that had rallied to their cause vanished into the ether. Their final expressions, one of relief and liberation. The group, weary but resolute, took a moment to gather themselves, their minds racing to comprehend the events that had just unfolded. The manor, for the first time in centuries, felt devoid of the malevolent presence that had once permeated its walls. The oppressive atmosphere that had greeted their arrival was now replaced by a somber tranquility. The shadows that danced at the edge of their vision no longer menacing, but mournful. As they ventured from the ballroom, they noticed subtle changes in the manor. The decay and neglect that had marked its halls were now juxtaposed with glimpses of its former grandeur as if the manor itself was caught between times, struggling to reconcile its tormented past with the hope of salvation the ritual promised. Their exploration led them to the manor's heart, where they discovered an underground chamber hidden beneath the ancient altar. The chamber, carved from the very bedrock upon which the manor was built, pulsed with a residual energy its walls inscribed with arcane symbols that glowed faintly in the dim light. In the center of the chamber lay a crystalline structure, its facets reflecting the faint light into myriad colors, drawn to its beauty and the power it emanated. They approached, only to find the crystal encasing a dark, shadowy figure its features obscured, but its presence unmistakably malevolent. 
the realization dawned on them that the ritual had not banished the dark entity, but had instead bound it to this place, trapping it within the crystal as a final safeguard. The manor, they understood, was now a prison. Its newfound tranquility, a fragile veneer over the darkness that lay entombed within its depths. As they contemplated their next move, the ground beneath them stirred once more. A gentle rumble that grew in intensity with each passing moment. The chamber began to crumble. The ancient stones, unable to withstand the strain of the entity's rage as it tested the bonds of its prison, faced with the imminent collapse of the chamber and the potential release of the dark entity. Ethan, Mia, Alex, and Lily were forced to make a hasty retreat, the path behind them disintegrating as they raced towards the surface. Emerging from the manor as dawn broke, they watched in silence as the first light of day graced the crumbling facade of Hollow Shade Manor. The manor, for all its silence, seemed to whisper a warning, its secrets buried but not forgotten, its halls a testament to the thin veil between light and darkness. As they left the grounds, the manor stood silent, a guardian of the darkness it now held captive. The story of Hollowshade Manor was far from over, its chapters written in the shadows, waiting for the unwary or the brave to uncover its truths. The fate of our protagonists, bound by their ordeal, remained intertwined with the manor, their story a thread in the larger tapestry of its haunted legacy. As they departed, the echo of their footsteps mingled with the whisper of the wind, a reminder that some doors, once open, never be fully closed, as the first rays of dawn stretched over the horizon, casting a golden hue over the dilapidated facade of Hollow Shade Manor. Ethan, Mia, Alex, and Lily couldn't help but feel a mixture of relief and unease. The immediate threat had been contained, but the dark entity remained, a slumbering shadow beneath the manor's foundations, its malevolence sealed, but not extinguished. In the quiet that followed their escape, the group struggled with the weight of their experience. The manor, with its twisted corridors and hidden chambers, had revealed secrets that were not meant for the living. The entity they had encountered, now imprisoned within the crystal, was a relic of a bygone era, a reminder of the thin line between ambition and folly. Their return to the village was met with a mix of relief and suspicion. The disappearance of Lily and their subsequent return from the manor, a place long shunned by the villagers, raised questions that Ethan, Mia, and Alex found difficult to answer. Lily still recovering from her ordeal, remained silent, her eyes reflecting a depth of knowledge that went beyond her years. As the days passed, the group found themselves drawn to each other, the bond forged in the manor's shadow, a constant reminder of the night they had faced the unknown. They shared a sense of duty, an unspoken agreement the manor's secrets and the entity it contained were their responsibility. Determined to understand the nature of the dark entity and the ancient forces that had led to its imprisonment, they turned to the research they had begun before their fateful journey. The old tomes and cryptic texts spoke of celestial alignments and arcane rituals, of the balance between light and dark, and the cost of tipping the scales. 
It was during one of their late night meetings, as they pored over ancient manuscripts, that they came across a forgotten prophecy. It spoke of a time when the stars would align, opening a gateway between the worlds. A time when the entity could either be fully unleashed or banished forever. The realization that they had a part to play in this cosmic event was both terrifying and galvanizing. The manor, with its dark history and buried secrets, was the key to preventing the entity's return. They knew they had to act, to prepare for the alignment and the challenges it would bring. As autumn gave way to winter, the group fortified their resolve, their research taking them down paths less trodden. The village, with its whispered tales and superstitions, seemed to watch them with wary eyes. The legacy of Hollow Shade Manor long shadow over their endeavors. The manor itself stood silent in the heart of the woods, a brooding presence that seemed to wait for their return. The crystal that contained the dark entity pulsed with a faint light, a heartbeat in the darkness, a reminder of the thin veil that separated the worlds. As the celestial event drew near, Ethan, Mia, Alex, and Lily knew that the time for action was upon them. The manor, with its secrets and shadows, awaited their return. The final chapter of their story, yet to be written in the haunted halls of Hollow Shade Manor. The darkness at the heart of the manor stirred. A whisper in the wind, a chill in the air, as if the manor itself anticipated their return. The story of Hollow Shade Manor, intertwined with the fate of its reluctant guardians, was far from over. The final act yet to unfold beneath the watchful gaze of the unseen. As the celestial event drew closer, the air around Hollow Shade Manor seemed charged with anticipation. The forest whispering secrets long forgotten. Ethan, Mia, Alex, and Lily spent their days and nights immersed in study, their determination fueled by the knowledge that they were the manor's only hope. The ancient texts were cryptic, but they 
hinted at a ritual, one that required precise timing and rare artifacts, some of which were hidden within the manor's depths. The group knew that to stand any chance of success, they needed to understand the manor's layout and its many secrets. They began to map out the manor's twisting corridors and hidden rooms. Each expedition revealing more of the manor's tragic history and the dark forces that had shaped its destiny. During one such exploration, they stumbled upon a hidden library, its shelves laden with tomes that spoke of other realms and the beings that inhabited them. Here, they found the last piece of the puzzle, a detailed account of the ritual they needed to perform the ritual, designed to strengthen the barrier between worlds, required a guardian, one who would willingly bind their fate to the manor to maintain the balance. The revelation was a heavy burden, and as they pondered their next move, the manor seemed to respond, the air growing colder, the shadows deeper, the entity sensing the impending ritual stirred in its prison, its whispers growing louder, a siren call to those who walked its halls. With time running out, the group set about gathering the artifacts needed for the ritual. Their search took them to the darkest corners of the manor, each artifact guarded by challenges that tested their resolve and their sanity. The manor, alive with the presence of its past inhabitants, seemed to watch their every move, its secrets revealed only to those brave enough to face its horrors. As the night of the celestial event approached, the group made their final preparations. The manor, under the light of the aligning stars, seemed to hold its breath, the boundary between the worlds thinner than ever. The ritual site, set in the heart of the manor, was prepared with the artifacts and ancient symbols, the air thick with the power of untold ages. With the stars aligned, the group began the ritual, their voices joining in an ancient chant that echoed through the manor's halls. The crystal that contained the entity pulsed with a frenzied light its shadows stretching out like tendrils seeking escape. As the ritual reached its climax, the manor shook with the force of colliding worlds, the boundaries straining under the pressure. The group, united in their purpose, poured their energy into the ritual, the guardian among them stepping forward to accept their fate. In that moment, the manor was transformed, the veil reinforced, the entity's whispers silenced, but the victory was bittersweet. The cost of their success, a reminder of the sacrifices made to keep the darkness at bay. As the first light of dawn broke over Hollowshade Manor, the group emerged, forever changed by their ordeal. The manor stood silent its secrets sealed once more, its halls a testament to the courage of those who dared to face the darkness. But the story of Hollowshade Manor is far from over, its walls a thin barrier between worlds, its guardians the only thing standing between the light and the consuming shadows. The manor waits, its whispers a call to those who would uncover its secrets, its halls a maze of mysteries yet to be solved. In the aftermath of the ritual, the guardians of Hollowshade Manor Ethan, Mia, Alex, and the newly anointed guardian, whose identity remained a closely guarded secret among them, faced the dawn with a mix of triumph and trepidation. The manor, now a silent sentinel between the realms, 
bore the scars of the night's events, its walls etched with the energies of the ritual. The group, bound by the secrets they shared, found themselves adrift in the normalcy of their lives, outside the manor's influence. The village, oblivious to the events that had transpired, continued its wary existence, the legends of the manor growing with each passing day. Yet, within the quietude, a sense of unease began to take root. Strange occurrences in the village unseen whispers in the night, shadows that moved of their own accord, and a chilling fog that seemed to emanate from the woods surrounding Hollowshade Manor suggested that the ritual, while successful in strengthening the barrier, had unintended consequences. Compelled by a duty to the manor and the realms beyond, the group reconvened, their research taking on a new urgency. They delved into the more esoteric aspects of the ancient texts, seeking to understand the ripples their actions had caused in the fabric of reality. Their studies led them to a series of prophecies, long dismissed as folklore, that spoke of the thinning, a time when the barriers between worlds would become so fragile that even the smallest breach could bring forth a deluge from the realms beyond. The prophecies hinted at keys scattered throughout the manor, each linked to a pillar that sustained the barrier's integrity. Realizing the gravity of their situation, the guardians set out to locate these keys, their journey taking them deeper into the manor's mysteries. Each key was protected by trials that tested their resolve, their unity, and their understanding of the balance between light and dark. As they collected the keys, manner seemed to awaken, its dormant energies stirred by their quest. The once silent halls were now filled with echoes of the past, the spirits of the manor's inhabitants reliving their final moments, trapped in a cycle of despair and madness. The guardians, undeterred by the horrors they witnessed, pressed on their path leading them to the heart of the manor, where the pillars stood. These ancient monoliths, etched with runes and symbols, hummed with power, their purpose clear to anchor the manor and its surrounding lands to the realm of the living. But as they prepared to use the keys, a chilling realization dawned upon them. The keys, while capable of strengthening the pillars, also served as a beacon, their energies calling out to those who dwelled in the shadows, drawing them towards the manor. With the thinning approaching and the shadows gathering at the manor's borders, the guardians faced a dilemma. To strengthen the barrier and risk a siege from the darkness, or to seek another way, one that could potentially seal the breach without inviting further conflict. The manor, with its winding corridors and hidden secrets, watched in silence as the guardians pondered their next move. The shadows at its gates grew denser, a dark tide waiting to be unleashed. As the guardians stood at the crossroads of their fate, Hollowshade Manor waited, its story intertwined with the very fabric of reality, a tale of light and darkness yet to unfold.
as the guardians of Hollowshade Manor grappled with their daunting choice, the encroaching shadows at the manor's borders began to take form, manifesting as whispers in the wind and figures lurking in the periphery of vision. The air grew thick with anticipation. The very atmosphere charged with a palpable tension that suggested the imminent breach of realms was closer than they had feared. Ethan, Mia, Alex, and the Guardian, whose fate was now irrevocably tied to the manor convened in the library. The room heavy with the weight of ancient knowledge and the responsibility it carried, they pored over the texts once more seeking any clue that might offer an alternative to the dire choice before them. In the dim light of the library, a map of the manor and its lee lines sprawled across the table, revealing a complex network of energy that intersected at key points within the estate. It was at these intersections that the pillars stood, their purpose not only to sustain the barrier, but also to anchor the manor and its surrounding lands to the world of the living. As they studied the map, a pattern began to emerge, one that suggested a possible solution. The ley lines, conduits of the manor's energy, could potentially be redirected, reinforcing the barrier without drawing the attention of the dark forces that lurked just beyond their sight. The realization sparked a glimmer of hope, but the task would not be easy. The redirection of ley lines required precision and a deep understanding of the ancient magics that governed them. It was a delicate operation, one that could just as easily backfire further weakening the barrier they sought to strengthen. With time running out, the Guardians set their plan into motion. They split into teams, each tasked with activating a specific pillar, while Ethan and the Guardian remained in the library, coordinating their efforts through the ancient communication spells inscribed within the tomes. As Mia and Alex activated the first pillars, a subtle shift occurred within the manor. The oppressive atmosphere lightened slightly, the whispers in the wind fading to silence. Encouraged by this initial success, they moved quickly to the next points, their movements becoming more confident with each pillar activated. However, as the final pillar was engaged, an unforeseen complication arose. The ley lines, long dormant and now suddenly flooded with energy, began to react unpredictably. The manor trembled, its foundations groaning under the strain of the redirected forces. In the library, Ethan and the Guardian watched in horror as the map before them lit up with frantic energy. The ley lines glowing a bright, ominous red. The ritual they had initiated was spiraling out of control. The energy they sought to harness now threatening to tear the manor apart. Outside, the shadows at the borders of the manor coalesced into a tangible force, drawn to the chaos that unfolded within. The thinning veil between the realms fluttered like a torn curtain in a storm barrier they had fought so hard to reinforce now on the brink of collapse. As the guardians raced to contain the situation, the manor's halls echoed with the sounds of the past and present colliding, the fate of Hollowshade Manor hanging in the balance, the story of its guardians, bound by duty and courage, continued to unfold tale of darkness and light intertwined, its next chapter yet to be written in the annals of the unseen. 
as the guardian stood before the ancient pillars within the heart of Hollow Shade Manor, the air thick with anticipation and dread. They knew the moment of decision had arrived. The keys, humming with arcane energy, seemed almost eager to fulfill their purpose. Yet, the darkness at the manor's gates swelled with a malevolent hunger. As if sensing the impending ritual, Ethan, Mia, Alex, and the Chosen Guardian, each weighed down by the enormity of their task, understood the gravity of their next actions. The ritual they were about to perform could either fortify the barriers between worlds, keeping the encroaching darkness at bay, or it could invite disaster, tearing open the fabric of reality and unleashing horrors untold. With resolve steeled by their journey and the trials they had faced, they placed the keys into the pillars. The runes upon the ancient stones glowed brightly, casting eerie shadows that danced along the crumbling walls of the manor. As they began the incantation, a profound silence enveloped the manor, the kind of silence that precedes a storm. The pillars pulsed with light, the energy coursing through the manor's veins, strengthening the wards and seals that protected the realm. For a moment, it seemed as if peace would be restored, the balance between light and darkness maintained. Then, something unforeseen happened. The darkness, instead of receding, coalesced into a tangible force. A maelstrom of shadow and malice that struck at the heart of the manor. The guardians, caught in the eye of the storm, fought to maintain the ritual. Their voices merging into a single, defiant cry that echoed the realms. The manor trembled, its very foundations challenged by the battle of wills. The pillars, now beacons of light in the encroaching gloom, stood firm, their energy a barrier against the darkness. But the darkness was relentless, its whispers seeping into the minds of the guardians, sowing seeds of doubt and fear. In the climax of their struggle, a blinding flash enveloped the manor, the energy released from the pillars surging like a tidal wave. When the light receded, the guardians found themselves outside the manor, the dawn breaking over a landscape forever changed. Hollow Shade Manor stood no more. In its place, a serene meadow bloomed, the air filled with the scent of wildflowers and the gentle songs of birds. The darkness had been vanquished, but at a cost. The manor, with all its secrets and horrors, had been erased from existence. Its legacy, a cautionary tale of the thin line that separates light from darkness. The guardians, forever bound by their ordeal, parted ways, each carrying the burden of their experiences. The village slowly forgot the tales of the manor, the stories fading into legend, then into whispers, until they were no more. But some say that on certain nights, when the veil between worlds is thin, the echoes of Hollow Shade Manor can still be heard. A reminder of the darkness that lies just beyond the light, waiting for its moment to return. And in the heart of the meadow, where the manor once stood, a solitary pillar remains. Its runes faded, but still glowing faintly. A sentinel guarding against the darkness, ever vigilant, ever silent.